People all over us, hello and welcome back to the channel, it's the Eradicator, and in today's video we have another patch from Star Citizen Alpha 3.11, this is the Zero B patch, and it is of course still at the hands of the Evil Kaiser, so we'll go over the patch notes, and I was also fortunate enough to view with my own eyes a gameplay session from the previous build, so I will be telling you also what I saw from Star Citizen Alpha 3.11.0. A. But here we go. Let's have a look at some of the patch notes here. First, we'll talk about the bug fixes because it's always interesting to check out what was fixed uh, and what was worked on by the devs between yesterday and today. Apparently, the interiors of the new Babbage trains should no longer be missing. Uh, there was a problem where the entire trains at New Babbage was entirely made of glass, which I'm sure must have been very interestingly looking uh, and very futuristic, but that was not what was intended. Players should no longer be ejected from their ship after initiating a content travel around New Babbage and Mercotec, which is uh, obviously a good thing here. That's one game-breaking bug that is already gone. Space, space station hubs should no longer be missing atmosphere. Sphere. That's an old bug that usually did happen on our core, but it seems that now it is happening on space stations. It's always funny when you wake up, you don't have your helmet and you are suffocating. Mm. <laughs> the Origin M50 should no longer pitch upon takeoff. Arena Commander Ship Customization Screen should, no should now load ships in correctly. They fixed a Z fighting on the floor of Arena. Uh, 18 Habs. I have no idea what that is, but yeah, it's fixed, right? The interior of Hab 02 in Hab C of Grim X should no longer be missing. They fixed a missing table and chair in the lower deck of the 600i. Fixed an issue that would cause the player to fall through the planet geometry when client FPS is low. That's also good. We don't want that, obviously, right? So it's, ter it's always terrible, especially with new players. They have no idea what is going on. Fixed a mission ground call collision of the planned display around Wallis Bar in New Babbage. They also fixed a missing collision with the waterfall walls around Wallis Bar at New Babbage. Um, and they fixed missing adverse on displays in space stations. Players should now correctly drop their weapons when being killed by a takedown melee attack. Very nice. We'll be able to take people's uh, weapons without actually killing them. Very nice. And fix an issue that could cause a player colliding with the transit platform sign in Nubabitch and fall through the ground. Okay, six client crashes, two server crashes. That's quite a lot. And so, uh, here is what was done here with this patch there. Obviously, uh, not all of the features are in there. They're still testing the front end refactor, the new cargo decks, the new space stations layout, the BR2 shotgun and the grenade launcher as well. Uh, so here, uh, apparently on Hurston, they added they added Hurston material variants for the Hurston, for the Hurston outpost exteriors. Mm -hmm. So maybe when you are going on outposts, on Hurston, you will have more of a Hurston vibe. Okay, that's very cool. As far as ship and vehicles go, they've increased the Constellation thrusters in the atmosphere to help with angular rotation and slightly reduced its linear drag for a small acceleration increase. There's also a balance pass for the shotgun and the Gemini SMG to increase spread, to increase spread and reduce its damage multiplier. Uh, next, when it comes to known issues, there's still a couple of them that uh, that basically uh, are a little bit annoying here. So missiles and countermeasures are undergoing a small update that isn't complete yet. So we know that players are able to click play for all their build before launcher updates to newer builds, causing a version mismatch. That, how is that even? possible. I have no idea, but <laughs> launcher may be slow to detect a new version that if available is available. Verifying files may force it to detect a new version. That is something that I, that's not a new issue. This is something that I've had for a long time. Call elevators buttons in spaceport hangars may not summon the elevator. Uh, this one is, uh, is, is quite annoying indeed, and it's going to have to be fixed. Oh, listen to that, guys. Bohol Station is missing in Levski. How are all of these locations and places, and how do they end up missing? I have no idea how that is possible. Is it because, once again, is it the same issue that caused locations to be to be coming two or three minutes after we arrived in 3.10? Is it now uh, the fact, I mean, do we have so many entities in the servers that now the servers just won't load them? Could be possible too. Spawning with a male character can cause player to have zero health 
and unable to move. Ouch. Players will not receive any damage from any weapon in game. Great, so we are in god mode now. <laughs> Attempting automatic landing fails and freezes the ship in place indefinitely till the landing gear is retracted. Causing the customer returning to customer customizer after accident change will call UI options to become unresponsive, causing a uh, client restart, uh, and all the rest are uh, basically the same issues from last time. No, now uh, I was able to watch uh, a game PlayStation from an Evo Caddy member who was kind enough to invite me to have a look and I'm really happy so I can tell you what is going on at least with the previous patch the 3.11.0a patch so uh, let's talk about the rest stations the rest stops have been considerably modified and I think that it's great that they have listened to community feedback I'm thinking for example of morphologist who did a great video about how to improve maybe uh, guiding people in those stations because it, it, it doesn't make much sense so now the rest stops have three levels so you have a level for which is called the galeria which is basically like the shopping mall for the rest stops you have a level for the habs which is where obviously you would respawn and you have a couple of shops there like mostly some 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 convenience stores like like some food stalls and the other level is going to be as well the um, the um, the cargo decks i think I, I i don't remember if there's also a level for hangers or, or not maybe i think it's just the, the regular elevator that you have to take for for the hangers so that's a little bit different speaking of the galeria now the bars are working which is great because in star citizen about 3.10.2 they were supposed to be working but when you go to a bar right now in star citizen about 3.10.2 uh, those bars are just empty in 3.11 they have patreons they have working bartenders and they have music too and that is a nice little touch if you want to get a drink after a successful trade speaking of trading i also had a look at the cargo decks uh, right now the cargo decks are um, there's not much to do in the cargo decks to be frank but again they did say that right now this patch does not contain all of the intended features which will be uh, added uh, partially you know as as testing goes by so maybe it there will be but right now I mean you can't even uh, you can't even trade uh, it's supposed to be like a like an admin like, like the ID probably is to replace the admin in those stations with those cargo decks but right now uh, the screens for trading are not working you cannot take any missions from those cargo decks right now there are, there are no missions available uh, you do have uh, a shop there is a shop where you can buy clothing but these are basically the same type of clothes that you find at Tammany and Sons at least from what I have seen and I suppose that uh, I would say that maybe the t they say that the testing focus right now are the new cargo decks I suppose that they want to make sure that there are no collision issues and people don't cliff through walls and that the NPCs are working there are lots of NPCs Either those cargo decks definitely look like busy places for sure but right now it's it's it's, it's just pretty much bare bone and there's not much happening and not much to say about those cargo decks in case you were interesting now the last thing I want to talk about is Constellation Taurus uh, a lot of Evo caddies have reported sites of texts uh, mentioning the Constellation Taurus people who own a Constellation Taurus uh, have not been able to fly but they have been uh, seeing uh, interfaces in their mobile glass saying that they do have a Constellation Taurus so could it be that the Constellation Taurus is coming in Star Citizen Alpha 3.11 as a surprise ship? After all, that would not be so surprising because what is the Constellation Taurus? It's the car cargo variant of the Constellation series. They also, did you see that they made a little adjustment here for the Constellation series too? So maybe that could be a sign that something, uh, something is up here regarding the Constellation Taurus. Another sign that it might be coming. And after all, right, what do they have to do? They, they just remove part of the interior and replace it with a cargo hold to have, I think, a 160 standard cargo unit for a Constellation Taurus. So maybe we should expect it to come in Star Citizen Alpha 3.11 and that's what I've seen so far uh, with uh, this patch I haven't been able to see how the grenade launcher is working because simply the player I was uh, I was watching had no idea where to buy it so maybe it's not even in the game right now anyway guys that's all for this video don't forget that this month we've got amazing giveaways I'm giving away a talent strike with lifetime insurance thanks to Buzz69 who kindly decided to support this channel once more during this month and 
on top of that, I'm also giving away a rock with Cutlass Black and lifetime insurance too. All you have to do the case of winning is to be a subscriber of the channel and come to any videos during this month. The winner will be announced early October. Good luck to everybody out there. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Eradicator and I'll see you guys later.